Let's get you all the latest uh, updates, breaking updates that are coming in uh, on the Delhi murder. During the course of sustained interrogation, the accused Aftab Amin Poonawala has disclosed that he and the deceased were in a live-in relationship. So he and the victim Shraddha were together since 2019, both from Mumbai, which has been confirmed by us here on India Today. They met each other via a dating app in 2019 and since then were together. They had frequent fights and finally, after one such quarrel, he killed her on 18th May. The next day, he went and bought a refrigerator where he kept Shraddha's chopped body for about 16 to 18 days. Now, believe it or not, this man, this monster, knew Shraddha from 2019. They were together for years. And in 2022, just months ago in May, he killed her, he murdered her by strangling her, then cut her body up into 35 pieces, stored it in a refrigerator that he bought the next day, lit incense sticks, agarbattis in the house to ensure neighbors don't get suspicious, there was no foul smell, and then every single day with a polythene bag, he'd take the body parts out, dispose of them and come back for the next 16 to 18 days. He did this religiously to ensure all the body parts were disposed of. We'll be getting you all the latest updates on this. But to many of the people that we've spoken to here on India Today who interacted with Aftab after the murder, they said he was completely unrepentant, that he came with a clear mission, bought the refrigerator. There are local store owners who say that he even bought the saw from them. Because remember, after the murder, reportedly Aftab, according to the confession that he's given to the police, uh, sat around wondering what to do and then decided, came up with this elaborate plan of getting rid of Shraddha's remains. All of this over an argument as Shraddha was pressuring him to get married. They were together since 2019. Their families opposed their relationship because it was an interfaith one. So they decided to move together. They were in a living relationship in the national capital and in an apartment where they lived. Aftab murdered her in May and for six months nobody had any clue that something like this had even happened. He lived in an apartment, they shared this house and even after killing her, after murdering her, at no point did he choose to move out. He continued to live in that very same apartment, bought a refrigerator and inside this refrigerator kept her body parts so there was no smell, nobody suspected a thing. None of the neighbours knew what was happening because every day at 2 a.m. he'd go for a drive. He'd take body parts in a polythene bag, empty the bag outside uh, and this was particularly in the Chhatapur area, in an area which had uh, quite a bit of vegetation. He dropped the body parts there in the hope and he says this in his confession to the police that he was counting on animals devouring some of these body parts so nobody would have any sort of suspicion. At this point, the cops are at this spot and also at the house of the accused and the victim, tragically. They are going through all of this, scoring through any clues that they can get. Rahul Gautam is joining us with more details on this. Rahul, you know, there's been a lot of questions about whether this was, um, uh, you know, in the heat of the moment that he committed this kind of a crime, whether it was an elaborate murder. What this leads to is a lot of shocking questions because now the information we have is that Aftab actually knew Shraddha from 2019. They were together from 2019. Three years on, he's murdered her. Well, actually, I myself spoke with senior of police officers and they made it very clear that uh, uh, the accused, Aftab, is a well-read person. In fact, he clearly knew uh, what he was doing. In fact, when I also uh, interviewed uh, the two shopkeepers who actually sold fridge uh, and the very weapon, uh, uh, the very night that he used to chop off the body. Both of them confirmed to me that uh, uh, there was no guilt on his face when yesterday police brought him uh, to, to the shop uh, to recreate the scene for investigation. In fact, they said that there was no remorse uh, whatsoever as far as Aftab is concerned. And this only shows that uh, this was something. Uh, there were frequent quarrels uh, that were happening at that point of time between the two. But it seems that this was a premeditated uh, conspiracy that was hashed uh, uh, by Aftab and this clearly shows that he clearly knew from the very first moment that what he was doing was not something that actually happened in the pit of the wage or in the heat of the moment. It was something that he, he was planning on, that he was building on and in fact this is the main reason why police believe that they have a very watertight case against Aftab who himself already confessed to the crime and police has already recovered uh, uh, you know, crucial evidences which is going to link him with this particular murder. I must also tell our viewers that uh, the family members of uh, Shraddha, they are already in the national capital and in fact, uh, you know, uh, as, as per the police sources, what we are telling, 
uh, what they are telling to us that uh, you know for past 5 to 6 months uh, the, uh, the the victim here was not on talking terms with the family as this was this was one thing uh, uh, you know which actually gave advantage to Akta when because of this he was able to uh, you know conceal this crime for over, for almost 5 months and it was only after Shraddha stopped updating her social media profile then only after that uh, the family members got suspicious uh, they got into touch with the Mumbai police authorities, filed an, uh, you know, a missing complaint. Thereafter, the Mumbai police approached Delhi police and, no, so, and, and you, you know, know there, there are questions. There were questions of why it took five months also for this missing complaint to be filed. This murder happened in May, mid-May, and now it's come to light because the missing person's complaint was filed uh, on 8th November also. So there will be questions of that as well. But in a matter of days, the Delhi police has cracked this particular case. Thanks, Rahul, for getting us those details. I want to play out all the exclusive reactions that we have for you here on India Today on this big story. India Today spoke to the victim, to Shraddha's friend, who had actually raised an alarm over her disappearance after her phone was switched off. लास्ट दो महीने पहले उसने कांटेक्ट किया था उसके बाद अगस्त का महीना हो गया अभी तक उसके साइड से कोई रिप्लाई आया नहीं मेरे किसी भी टेक्स्ट का रिप्लाई आया नहीं फोन स्विच ऑफ आ रहा था सो दैट इज व्हेन इट बिकेम अ पॉइंट ऑफ कंसर्न फॉर मी कि आई शुड एक्चुअली स्टार्ट रीचिंग आउट टू पीपल किसी से भी कोई मुझे अपडेट नहीं मिला तो फाइनली मैंने उनके ब्रदर को बता दिया कि ऐसा है लास्ट मेरा उनसे जुलाई में बात हुआ था उसके बाद से आज तक मेरा उनके साथ कोई contact nahi ho pa raha hai so it's better that we reach out to cops and check seek for their help ki to dono mein kya jhagda hota tha kya bahut jhagde hote the yahan tak ki ek bar aisa bhi jhagda hua tha jab usne mujhe whatsapp pe aisa message karke bola ki please yahan mere ghar pe aa ja mujhe bahar leke ja agar aaj raat ko main iske sath ghar pe rahi to ye mujhe maar dalega aisa bhi jhagda hua hai unke beech mein aur hum doston ne milke usko uske घर से उस दिन बाहर भी निकाला था और आफ्ताब को वार्निंग भी दी थी कि हम पुलिस के पास जाने वाले हैं बट उस टाइम पे श्रद्धा के कमिटमेंट्स को या फिर उसके जो बातें थी उसको रिस्पेक्ट करते हुए हमने बोल दिया कि इसको हम पुलिस में नहीं कर रहे बिकॉज उसने मना किया